friends welcome to quick learn tutorial series in this video i will explain you classification of optical fiber i have already uh, given the introduction of optical fiber and optical fiber communication system block diagram description in my previous video so in this video i will give just introduction of optical fiber optical fiber is a dielectric waveguide that operate in optical frequency and it is used for transmitting information any kind of information this is voice video data whatever over a long distance why it is called dielectric waveguide because optical fiber is a hollow pipe that is made up of glass or plastic it is a glass or plastic pipe and air inside the pipe air is work like a dielectric that is why it is called dielectric waveguide it is very thin just like in human hair and the information transmit in the form of light and follow the principle of total internal reflection now this is the diagram of optical fiber the center region is called core the middle region is called cladding and the outermost region is called protective sheath here we see the light enter into the fiber follow the total internal reflection at the core cladding interface and make a zigzag path and propagate down the fiber over long distance less attenuation or losses optical fiber having lots of benefits just like it provide high bandwidth high data rate immunity to electromagnetic interference the speed is high having low losses that all benefits replace the copper wire cable and optical fiber cable is more demanding in market as compared to copper wire cable now classification of optical fiber optical fiber are classified according to their material use refractive index profile and mode of propagation so there are basically three type of classification first classification is material used the fiber is classified according to their fabrication material used in construction of optical fiber second classification of optical fiber according to their refractive index profile and classification of optical fiber according to the mode of propagation of light one by one i will give all the description in detail first classification of optical fiber based on the material based on material fiber is classified as there are two type of optical fiber plastic fiber and glass fiber what is plastic fiber the fiber is made up of plastic is called plastic fiber or plastic fiber is basically made up of polymer material known as plastic fiber or polymer optical fiber that is pof the characteristic of polymer fiber is cheap durable tough but having less transparency compared to glass fiber so it has high attenuation losses than glass fiber and less use in communication previously it is used for endoscopy second is glass fiber glass fiber is basically made up of silica the raw material is silica silica is sand like material it is highly transparent than plastic fiber so it is good in quality highly transparent that's why the low attenuation losses but it is costly so it is widely used in communication the detail of the material glass or plastic fiber i explain in detail in my coming videos now classification of optical fiber based on refractive index profile first we know about what is refractive index profile refractive index profile is the graphical representation of refractive index magnitude of a particular fiber is known as refractive index profile of that fiber there are basically two type of fiber according to their refractive index step index fiber and grid index fiber in this video i will explain only the classification of fiber and brief description of all type of fiber in my coming video because the length of the video is too long if i describe all the uh, type of fiber in detail so in my coming videos i will explain all the fiber all the topics in detail so first is step index fiber what is step index fiber this is the diagram of step index fiber 
the center region is called core this region is called the middle region is called cladding this is the center of the fiber center axis of the fiber r denote the refract, uh, radial distance from the center of the fiber in step index fiber the refractive index of core is constant from the center of the fiber toward core cladding interface this is core cladding interface but larger than the refractive index of cladding this is refractive index of cladding so n1 is the refractive index of core and n2 is the refractive index of cladding if we join the refractive index of core and cladding at the core cladding interface a step is made this is called step index fiber a is the radius of the core okay so if the refractive index of core remain the same from the center of the core to the core cladding interface and a sharp decrease in refractive index make a step at core cladding boundary at the core cladding interface so that the cladding is lower refractive index this is called step index fiber now graded index fiber in graded index fiber this is the diagram the center is called the core and this layer is called the cladding nr is the refractive index r is the radial distance from the center of the fiber a is the radius of the core now n1 is the refractive index of core and n2 is the refractive index of cladding here from refractive index profile we can say that in gradient index fiber the refractive index of core is not constant it varies smoothly and continuously over the diameter of the core but at every point the refractive index of core is higher than the refractive index of cladding or we can say that in gradient index fiber the refractive index of core is very godly as a function of radial distance from the center of the fiber so this type of fiber is made up of the core is made up of variety of refractive index profile materials so that the refractive index of every point of core is different but at the center of the fiber the refractive index is high and when we move from the center of the fiber toward radial distance the refractive index is less but always larger than the refractive index of cladding in this type of fiber the ray is smoothly propagate within the fiber now both step index of gradient index fiber here this is step index fiber and this is gradient index fiber step index fiber the refractive index of core from the center of the fiber is constant throughout the core but greater than the refractive index of cladding and its step form at the core cladding interface in this type of fiber the light ray sharply strike at the core cladding interface and reflect back and follow a zigzag path in gradient index fiber the refractive index of core is not constant it continuously varying from the center of the fiber toward the core cladding interface but every point the refractive index of core is greater than the refractive index of cladding at the center of the fiber the refractive index is higher as compared to other points in this type of fiber the ray is smoothly propagate within the fiber so this is the difference between step index and gradient index fiber the overall description of step index and gradient index fiber is given in my coming videos now classification of optical fiber third classification is based on mode of propagation this is the third classification based on their mode of propagation of light within the core the fiber is classified single mode fiber and multi mode fiber what is single mode fiber single mode fiber as the name suggested the fiber allow only one mode to propagate within the core that is called single mode fiber here in the diagram this is core the core size is very small and this is cladding and only one mode propagate from the center axis of the fiber so the core size is adjust to allow only one mode of light wave propagate so that is called single mode fiber or we can say that when the fiber core is too small that only one light ray at 0 degree incident angle can pass through the length of the fiber without much losses this kind of fiber is known as single mode fiber clear now the characteristic of fiber it allow only one mode of propagation of light 
it has very small core diameter 8 to 10 micrometer it is designed for use in near infrared region 1310 nanometer to 1550 nanometer single mode fiber use laser diode as a light source it has higher bandwidth and high data rate used for long distance communication the single mode fiber fabrication is difficult and costly single mode fiber having no dispersion losses all the detail of single mode fiber is i will give in my coming videos if question asked in your exam uh, the classification of optical fiber so this is more than it now multi-mode optical fiber in multi-mode optical fiber as name suggested the fiber that allow large number of mode to propagate within the core simultaneously is called multi-mode optical fiber the core size is adjusted to allow large number of mode of light propagate within the fiber so multi-mode optical fiber core diameter is large 50 to 100 microns to carry multiple light ray or modes simultaneously each at a marginal different reflective index angle inside the optical fiber here see in the diagram this is core the core is large in diameter that allow large number of light ray or mode propagate within the fiber characteristic of multi-mode fiber sorry here i write multi-mode fiber in place of single mode sorry for that fiber that carry more than one mode are called multi-mode fiber in multi-mode fiber the large core diameter that is 50 to 100 microns the most prevalent size of core is 62.5 microns there are two type of multi-mode fiber, step index multi-mode fiber or ridge index multi-mode fiber. Multi-mode fiber are used for short distance communication. Multi-mode fiber use LED as a light source. Multi-mode fiber are easy to install and maintain and easy to fabricate. So this is the characteristic of multi-mode fiber. Here again I say, here I write single mode in place of multi-mode sorry for that mistake now the combination of optical fiber so the two classification based on refractive index profile or based on propagation of light the combination of these two classification made four type of fiber first is step index single mode fiber step index multi-mode fiber graded index single mode fiber and graded index multi-mode fiber so, with the help of their refractive index profile and their cross-sectional view, I explain the difference between all of them. At the right hand side, this cross-section of single mode fiber and this is single mode step index fiber because the core diameter is small. So, it is a single mode fiber. Here we see the refractive index profile. The refractive index of core is constant but greater than the refractive index of clady. So it is called the step index fiber and the light path because the core size is small it allow only one mode to be propagate from the center of the fiber. Second at the middle of the diagram this is the cross sectional view of multi-mode step index fiber. Why it is called multi-mode? The core diameter is large its refractive index profile say it is a step index fiber because the refractive index of core is constant but larger than the refractive index of cladding. The light path is in multi-mode step index fiber the light propagate within the fiber and follow a zigzag path. A sharp reflect, reflect at the core cladding interface and propagate down the fiber. The third is at the left hand side is this cross-sectional view of multi-mode fiber but when we saw the refractive index profile it is graded index fiber because the refractive index of core is not constant it's continuously varying from the center of the fiber toward core cladding interface but every time the refractive index of core is greater than the refractive index of cladding the light path the in graded index fiber the light follow a smooth path and propagate down the fiber thank you for watching my video so guys thank you for watching this video for more videos please like subscribe and share my channel